In Books Plus, we feature publications about Cornwall, all written by authors living in the county. I'm Mike Dees and I'm with David Mannering at Books Plus in Market Jew Street, Penzance. We're reviewing another four books and they are... Cornwall and the Coast by Joanna Mattingly, Newlin Before the Artist Came by Pamela Lomax and Ron Hogg, now Ark Some More, Cornish Tales by Liz Harmon, and finally Cornwall and Devon Holiday Diaries, 1955 to 1958 by Beryl Haywood. I was interested in uh, you know, the, the first book you're going to talk about, Cornwall and the Coast, Mousel and Newlin. I live in Newlin, so I'm always interested in the history of Newlin. What does Joanna Mattingly have to tell us? Well, this, in fact, is part of the prestigious Victoria County History Series, which have got a, a worldwide reputation, in fact, in local history circles, not just even a nationwide reputation, but a worldwide reputation. And this particular volume in the series tells the history of these two Mounds Bay ports, Mousel and Newlin, and explores the way their stories have diverged. For example, why Mousel has embraced tourism in a way that Newlin never has. In fact, the book is in many ways a model of how local history should be written. But it does seem to be Newlin month because there is another book uh, about the history of Newlin. In this case, Newlin Before the Artist Came by Pamela Lomax and Ron Hogg. And it's a very large book. It's a very large book indeed. At £25, one would expect it to be large. It's the first of four planned volumes on Newlin's history. And this one takes us up to 1881. It's the tale of seafaring families, fishermen and mariners, carpenters and shipbuilders, church and chapel goers, innkeepers, and the women engaged in homework who so often had to bring up families on their own when their men were lost at sea. Incidentally, I've mentioned the price of £25, but all the royalties from the book are to go to the Moab Library to promote its photographic collection. Now Ark Some More. It's a wonderful title. Liz Harmon. She's always a good read. She is always a good read. And in fact, it does seem to be a Newlin theme this month because uh, Liz does come from Newlin herself. Uh, she describes herself as just a teller of tales. And so she is, and a very good one too. But she does something more in her stories and poems uh, than just tell tales because she helps to preserve the history and culture of Cornwall. This latest volume from her is an enchanting collection, which, but one of the best things about it is that it never, ever lapses into sentimentality. The last book, Beryl Haywood's Cornwall and Devon Holiday Diaries, I noticed when I walked into your shop today, prominently displayed there, so it's a catching book. It's got two, two black and white photographs on the front, one with Cornwall and a Cornwall signpost on it with Beryl standing there and another one with her husband, I presume, standing in Devon. And uh, I had a quick look through it while I was waiting to uh, get together with you. And um, I think that's going to be a real big seller. It's very, very easy to read. It's easy to carry. It's nice, nice size. And it's 50 years old, so it's, it's fun and it's a historical document, but not a heavyweight read. Yes, indeed. You've summed it up perfectly, Mike. In fact, I think I might as well... Well, I'm, I'm sorry, David, because that's your job. <laughs> no, I think I might as well retire and hand it all over to you. You're quite right in everything you've said. It is a lovely nostalgic trip back in time before motorways and breathalysers and before anybody had ever heard of healthy eating. A charming evocation of the West Country in the 1950s when Double Diamond and Baby Sham still ruled. As Bell's last diary entry puts it, we had a good holiday with plenty of nice eats and drinks. The weather could have been better, but after all, a holiday is what you make of it. And I think that's still as true today as it was in the 1950s, including about the weather, sadly. And as Mike's already mentioned, it is illustrated with Bell's own black and white photographs, which he took at the time. Well, I'm going downstairs to buy one now. David Mannering, thank you. And thank you, Mike. Books Plus was presented by Mike Dees. A hearsay production for Cornwall Online Radio, it was directed by Julian Rowe. Prices quoted were correct at the time of recording.